Hey guys and welcome back to my channel and welcome back to my 12 week bump date. Oh my gosh, it's going so fast. I can't, <laughs> I can't even believe it. So last time I did a bump date, I was about eight weeks and after that, my pregnancy definitely picked up a bit. I know I was already having some nausea, but definitely um, morning sickness went into full effect after that. I no longer could eat or drink a lot of my favorite things, <laughs> which I think by eight weeks I couldn't drink coffee, but the fact that I haven't had coffee in a month Whew, it is rough. It is so rough. I'm really hoping that by the second trimester I finally can drink some coffee because in the first trimester you're just so tired and coffee is like a very comforting thing for me So definitely missing that but a lot has happened since then So of course the normal pregnancy symptoms of just nausea and your tummy feeling gross Yes, but if you guys missed on our family channel I had a very traumatic incident happen to me um, when we were at Disneyland I had a really really intense sharp pain start happening in my back and in my side of course this was really scary because anytime you have pain in your like abdomen you just can't help but think like is something wrong with the baby and so I felt like everything was fine just because the placement of the pain was not in my uterus it was definitely like side back but it was shooting down into my like not I mean, down there basically so it was hard to really tell and of course I was worried and so if you guys didn't hear the story I ended up going to the emergency room and they narrowed it down to that I had a kidney stone <laughs> which was the most painful thing I have ever endured in my entire life I actually have PTSD from it like anytime I have back pain now I'm like oh no I'm getting another one it's happening I'm gonna have like pregnancy kidney stones now but I will say the one good thing that came out of that is um, while in the emergency room they did an ultrasound on the baby and the baby was good the heartbeat was at 175 and they were just jumping around and happy as can be while I was like <gasps> It was it was the most traumatic thing that has ever happened to me. I was in this emergency room alone, scared, in so much pain. Definitely nothing I would wish on anyone. It was so, so painful. But I ended up passing the stone pretty quickly, luckily. I'm so glad I didn't have to deal with that pain for more than, I would say, 12 hours. Yeah, I probably dealt with it for about 12 hours. And by 1.30 in the morning, I finally passed the stone. And instant relief, honestly. <laughs> so that was really, really crazy thing to happen during um, pregnancy, especially because you can't have pain medication. There was no pain, pain medication that would help with this specific thing. So I was in a lot of pain. So imagining having to do that again is not fun. But I will say, I basically, in order to get through it, I pretended to have an unmedicated birth. I basically put myself in the mindset of, I'm gonna give birth and I just I put on my birthing playlist and I just put myself in a different world and it worked So I honestly feel like I could probably have a baby unmedicated at this point <laughs> I feel like I just did like a training series a little bit But after that I ended up getting the stomach flu um, I actually got it from Jackson my sister's son and Carlos got it and my dad got it and I got it and It was gnarly so for like three days. I was just like throwing up so sick, so miserable, took me a while to get over it. But then, I was finally good. I was like, okay, whew, feeling good again. I ended up going to see my best friend. She got me some like, hair extensions. I was so excited to visit with her. And while I was at her house, I used the restroom and I actually had blood. That was very, very, very scary. To be honest, I still don't really have answers. I know baby's okay because I found the heartbeat with my own home Doppler. So I instantly felt better after that, but I will say that was really, really scary. I definitely cried, I called Brian. I mean, of course my mind went to the worst. It was like, why else? I've never had blood while pregnant with Ollie and Finn. And so it was definitely really, really scary for that to happen. And like I said, I don't really have answers still. I did contact my midwife and she you know asked me like questions as far as like how much and she was like I'm really not concerned if you found the baby's heartbeat it probably is that you have like sensitive cervix so after like intercourse I can sometimes have like bleeding which has never happened to me in the past but she really feels like that's it and unless I have any accompanying like cramping or more blood or clotting or stuff like that then it would be a reason to be checked or concerned and so I'm really just feeling like I'm gonna trust 
that for now, which that's very different for me. <laughs> if I had any issues like this with all your fin, I would be at the doctor's in two seconds. But really trying to go at this pregnancy very more, a lot more relaxed and a lot of, lot less intervention as possible. So I'm really trusting her. I feel like everything's okay, but it is weird. I am still having some bleeding. I don't think it's um, as fresh because when it first happened, it was like red and now it's like, Around. So I'm hoping that it's passing and everything's fine. Hopefully I'll have more information in the next couple weeks, but very, very strange. If you guys have any experience with bleeding during your pregnancies, I am really interested. I would love to hear your stories and, and what it was, how like your pregnancies went. Um, so it's, it's definitely nerve wracking. It definitely is not a fun thing to happen. But moving on from all the hard stuff of pregnancy, man, this pregnancy is flying. I can't believe I am basically, I'm almost in the second trimester. We get to find out the gender in the next week, which is really, really awesome. I'm so excited, I'm very eager. Honestly, I have no idea. I feel like everyone always asks me like what I think it is and I cannot tell you. I feel like with Ollie and Finn, I was like, 100% hands down, this is a girl. I'm having a girl. I'm having a 100% having a girl with Finn. And I was very, very wrong. So with this pregnancy, it's probably a boy. I don't really know, <laughs> but I actually don't mind. I'm excited. If it's a boy, I'm gonna have three boys that literally adore me. And I'm very excited about that. And if I get a little girl, that would be amazing. So really, really looking forward to finding out. And I'm excited for you guys to find out. <laughs> we still do not have any baby names for a boy picked out. We have a couple for girls. Boys. We have like a couple ideas, but nothing has like stuck solid. So I'm curious what we end up choosing for that. Yeah, so exciting. But yeah, that's pretty much all I have for this bump date. I did finally pick a midwife, which was really fun. I am excited to be using a midwife this pregnancy and I feel really confident and comfortable with her, which is really important. If you guys have any questions for me or what you want to know in my next bump date, make sure you leave them down in the comments below and I will be reading them. Maybe I'll do like a pregnancy Q&A really soon here too. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and we'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!